Yo, what's up, it's the Dark Horse, I'll be doing well, welcome, we're going to be jumping into Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross the Ranks play, and we're going to be doing Road to Platinum with the Firewall Dragon deck, if you are not aware. Um, it's been an eventful journey, so far we seem to be doing A-OK, -okay. I believe we can hit Platinum, we've got 20 odd days left, we're good man, we're chilling. Um, but yeah, um, the only down, I feel like when I get to a point, because I know I'm away in Iceland, uh, probably when you're watching this video, uh, yeah, it will be because I think this is Tuesday's episode. Um, in regards to this, I think if I manage to fill up every single day for the whole month in regards to this and like we're not hit platinum yet, then I will begin to live stream so you guys can kind of... You'll still have the episodes, but the live streams will be a lot further ahead than the episodes kind of thing. But anyways, let's get into this. Ranked matches, three tickets. Hopefully all goes okay. Um... The, the main thing, obviously, in regards to the kind of decks we have built, obviously we needed Dark Magician Girl for Dark Magician. We do have Dark Magician Girl now, so it makes the Dark Magician deck a lot more viable. Um, Firewall Dragon, you have to get Imperial Order, 100%. If, if I give anyone advice in regards to what to run, the deck runs well, but the only thing that screws you over is other people and their spell cards. So you need the Imperial Order Trap card to counter any Sword and Shield, um, Swords of Revealing Light. There's, it, it's a problem. Like, obviously, when they normal summon the monster and activates its effect to immobilize you, it's not too much of an issue. Because, obviously, you can kind of counter that because in your ability activates after their monster's effect anyway. But the battle phase is obviously after your super speed. So, yeah, anyways, let's get into this. Let's begin. Here we go. Yake. I love it. As much as, obviously, there's been some episodes where I've absolutely hardcore raged at this game. And quite frankly, it is a game you can get stressed at. But then there's times where I can't fault this game other than, obviously, the three archetypes of burn and blaze they've put in a row i think it's three anyway but we're, we're just gonna go with three um okay based upon this i don't have four anyway so i can't really do much but i could go ram clouder and probably try go for the bonus card i have the enemy controller not particularly something i want to use here okay we have two monsters played into attack mode we have super speed on um speed runner we also have morphtronic which would then lead into my clouder. Man, this game audio is really loud. It's crazy. Have I just set it to full blast or what? There we go. I don't know if it's obviously loud on your end, but on my end, it's like literally deafening. Okay, so we've got a mobilize play here. So he'll probably immobilize that. I'm more than likely enemy controller that. Yep. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to enemy controller that, and then I'll just go for the uh, bonus card. Obviously, I would have preferred to obviously have saved my enemy controller, but I'm going to let it play. Although, there may be a spell card they may have that could obviously come back and bite me in the backside. So, while we, we let it push to five, game is glitching like crazy. Okay, I'm going to target. I'm going to enemy control. To Maymar, which will allow me to push forward. So far, so good. Unless there is another spell card in play that someone has. Whether it's um, enemy controller, swords of being light. Okay. From what it looks like, we seem to be okay. I'm I'm hoping for maybe Dark Hole. Monster Reborn. Actually, Monster Reborn. Oh my god. Wait. But then Firewall Dragon doesn't gain its abilities anyway. Even if it is brought out through Monster Reborn. So, as much as I'd love to play it off, there's not really much of a playoff there. Um, I am going to play you into defense mode there, along with trap dust shoot. Uh, because it will pop it back anyway, but then there will be a mobilized play. Uh, more than likely it's going to summon on me. I would love to go with the idea of bringing a firewall out now, but no. I can't play stupid, man. I'd rather lose one monster and put it in the graveyard. Because all I have to do is... This is where I've kind of got to use my resources smartly. Um, or smarter, should we say. Bad English. Um, we use our monsters to go to the graveyard, then we keep two in hand to be able to bring that firewall when it comes to it. Um, it's not been one of the easiest decks for me to run, 
but also if desperate times can desperate measures, I can obviously monster reborn. Um, I wouldn't mind running some sort of spell or trap destruction, but then if you could combine um, Imperial Order with something that can prevent aces coming out or traps from activating or whatever, it probably isn't too... I feel like I wasted that. That was a kind of a wasted card, um, but it's fine. You're going to speed through. We're good. Because the way I view it, I'll destroy that and then obviously I'll destroy myself. But the Monster Reborn is still in play if I need to. Um, I don't want to focus my attention on Yake. I kind of like to go for two people and that's it. I don't like to jumble between too many people unless obviously something else triggers off. But I try to avoid being involved in the drama as much as I can. Um, but yeah. Okay. My hand's not looking too bad. It's pretty cushy. I could continue to push forward. But I would rather wait. The only downfall... I want to go... There's so many plays that I want to go with. But also, I kind of need to see what we're dealing with. Because as long as Jake doesn't summon on me, which I hope he doesn't... And Moises and Maymar potentially do come for me. Obviously, my trap does shoot. I shouldn't have played. Not at this stage, anyway. I probably should have waited out for, like, an ace to pop. Actually, Blue Eyes' ability still works well. So, this one monster you don't really want to pop back to the hand. But the way I view it, as long as I can hold it down, we should be fine. Okay. V through to Z. Speaking of the devil... Oh, wait, can he destroy V to... F I think he might destroy V through to Z then. Unless he destroys that and go for a direct attack. He has done that play. Moises, I hope you've got some uh, form of play here because uh, this is not looking good on your part. Um, Yeah, okay. I'm going to Monster Reborn. I'm going to bring my sheep back in attack mode there. I know I said I wouldn't go for Yake, but now I'm considering my options. Because, obviously, I know he has a lot of cards in hand, but also, if I can force him to activate them before Firewall Dragon comes to the field, we can kind of benefit off that. But sometimes you've got to sacrifice a small piece. Mate, it's like chess. We're going to take life point damage here anyway, but then this guy is obviously dealing damage. I'm wondering if either of these have Sword and Shield. Because I wouldn't mo- It's a hard one, because obviously... This is where Imperial Order would come in handy. Link Burst. That does open the door for a potential combo. He needs to... I'm going to have to destroy the Blue Eyes. I'm going to have to Link Burst the Blue Eyes. I think that's something... Because this guy is stacking cards, man. Okay, this is how I'm going to play it. One, two, three, four on field. Link burst in hand. Right. <clears throat> oh. That's actually a good play. I... I Blue Eyes is still one of the most, I say frustrating, <clears throat> challenging monsters to counter. We definitely need more immunity to destruction. I feel like that would help out massively in regards to how we play this game. But yeah. Oh. Um, I don't really know who to pop. Pop Prima. <clears throat> Hoping to build some uh, alliance. Oh, wow, this guy's still going hard. 
Wow. I would like to think that if Sword and Shield or something doesn't get played off, I will Link Burst and destroy. Interesting. I don't want to have to use Link Burst unless it's absolutely necessary. At this point, I don't feel like it's majorly need. Oh. Okay, that guarantees me a direct attack now. Which means I can kind of test the water here. There's no shield handler there. Do we have a wall of disruption, maybe? Okay, reduction by five, 1100. Oh, wow, it's by seven, sorry. Oh, damn. Direct attack for 18. Direct attack for 25. I say we hold it down now. We just hold out our play. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> it's a tough one. I think we play it out. Yeah, we play it out. I'm going to let it run. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Decisions, decisions. It, it comes down to how the battle phase plays out as well, because obviously... Okay, they're both set. Gone into Prima. I will still destroy Prima and also I'll still destroy that, so that's fine. Um, there is a. Well, Prima can switch positions, but then also, what's your ability? Oh, I can't activate trap cards. I don't have trap cards anyway, so. Oh, you could just. This is the monster I was speaking about. So if you combined Imperial Order with this monster, you could basically shut down traps, spells. If you go with. Um, <sighs> What's the card called? Oh my god, it's the one uh, Yugi runs it in his deck at one point as well. Um, it used to basically banish a card from your hand for so long. I can't remember the card's name. I've got it, but basically it prevents uh, ace monsters from being summoned. They're not necessarily needed for this deck, but Imperial Order is a must, 100%. This card probably could benefit me, actually, thinking about it. If I was to run this, at least I could basically shut down the trap card play from... Oh. That is a very nice play. I have only ever seen that spell card be used with Gagaga Magicians, so to see that play off, well played. Damn. Oh my god. And it gains... Oh my god, that's crazy. This archetype, if it wasn't for burn being so popular, equip combo would be absolutely phenomenal. It'd be so good. Wow, that is one way to end a duel. I didn't even see this guy coming in the middle. Hey, nice. Okay, this has gone well. To be honest, I'm happy when I get 16 points. I don't really mind losing as much. But yeah, the 16 points are just such a big jump as well. All right, sweet. Let's get into the next one. Okay, Duel 2. Duel 2 commences. Oh. Kalakichi. Lucifer. Duelist 4. <laughs> uh, mm. Okay. Uh, ooh, shoot. Okay. Ram Clouder. Ready. That's how I run it. 
that's that's my play that's genuinely my only outcome really um i've come to realize i used to not summon on first turn but then i realized i kind of put myself in a very difficult position when it comes to like lucifer uh, that kind of segment straight ahead run um so now my advice is just just summon anything at least you're going to destroy, you're going to do damage. Obviously, this guy's got reincarnation, solid play, fair enough. There is an immobilized play there as well. It would make sense for them to immobilize me because he can destroy the reincarnation, Gagagar -ga -ga Magician. So technically, it's a win win situation for me. Wait, what? Oh, technically, it's a win win situation for you anyway. Oh. Well, well played. That's a little annoying. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so, Kolokichi. I can't help but read that as something completely different. Um, but yeah. Um, you know, removing a couple of letters from that name. You know where I'm going with that. <laughs> but yeah. I am curious because I, like, obviously, I, I've been changing my eating lifestyle lately uh, because I've been told that i could i have liver problems so i've been having to eat differently and obviously change my diet in some way and um i'm interested to see how my face transition because i've been told i've lost weight in my face and i don't think i have yet you know but then you never really notice the weight loss you've lost so um yeah um i'm just gonna go wall of d and then i'm just gonna ready up but yeah um basically it's going to be interesting to watch back like videos from very early like maybe a month ago to see what how do i look like i'm losing weight hmm? to be honest I'm... yeah i should turn my face cam off for like two weeks and then just be like surprise and i'm, I'm here like I'm, I'm looking like freaking christian bale is it christian bale yeah in it's the machinist isn't it Wait, let me have a look. Christian Bale Machinist. I swear it's that sweary. Yes, it is. Right, since I've got it on my phone now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a picture. Bruh. You know what I mean? They class that as nudity. <laughs> okay, back into the game, because we don't want to mess up. Okay, so they've got this. Ooh, shield and sword. Damn, this guy went all out. So it's a shame if someone was to link burst. Oh, it's immunity to destruction. Okay, well, you're pointless going after. Um, you run terrain. Which I'm questioning whether or not... Hmm. I don't know who to go for. If I'm being completely honest, I'm thinking of just letting this... I'm glad Sword and Shield has been used by Itchy. The blades pops off. I don't think I'm going to have to do anything, to be honest. Because unless this person heals, if any... Yeah. Is that 3,000? If I can kind of, like, last minute snitch... Not snitch, but, like, steal. Um, do I go into Miller with Link Karibo now or wait? Because I'm cons I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait a turn. Because technically, theoretically, I don't need to go into any form of play at this point. And for all I know, he may have more Blaze cards. And I don't really want to deal with this. Honestly, this game is so much more fun when you are not watching Dark Power, Magician of Black Chaos, and... Um, the Abyss Actors. This game is so much more fun without them. And it's so annoying because they're not out of it yet. I just have been fortunate enough not to have to deal with their shizzle. But yeah. It's just... This just feels nice that people are actually pushing out to attack now. Okay, 400. I'm just going to let it play out. I don't have to worry about anything at this point. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, mate, it's been destroyed. Why is it attack zero? Did I miss something? Oh, my. I clearly missed something. What? Oh, my God. What? 
What was your ability? I am debating whether or not to just go full hard on him. This is crazy. <clears throat> I could, in theory, kind of play this off to benefit me now. But yeah, nah, we could. Okay. Snipe each other. <laughs> That's a joke. Oh, I'm I'm just hoping no one has anything. Please, please, please. Right, I don't want to look. I'm just going to base off audios. I don't know what's being activated here. From what it sounds like, four. Oh my god. No shot. Oh my god, yes! Let's go! Oh my god, I can link burst and destroy, and then I can attack directly. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's play it in that lane, and then that way I've got coverage, and then I'll just... Yeah. Oh my god, this is great. i just got to trust that I can get this play off. Although, actually, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to summon in that lane, just in case. I've just got to be careful of Sword and Shield, that's all. I don't think you need to run Decode. If I'm being completely honest, I don't think Decode's needed in any way, shape, or form. Obviously, to be fair, it is needed because you have to use it to basically give Firewall the defense mode of its attack. I think that's how it works. Okay, Exodia, you've got Healer. The blaze, okay. Ooh. Do I link burst and destroy Exode? Oh my god. Nah, nah, it ain't gonna make a difference. Uh, I'm just gonna ready. That's so good. That's so good. He got the Crusher play off as well, but even still, it's not enough to sustain. The only downfall is he kind of got rid of the Blaze. That would have burnt anyway, but either way, damage is damage at the end of the day. But yeah, mate, I am happy about that. Yes! First place again. This is one of the best episodes we've done in ages. Oh my god. It's a good time to be playing cross tool. <laughs> yeah, Bubba. <laughs> <gasps> All right, another one in the bag. Boom. Right. Oh, if I can get another first place win, it puts us at 450. And I will be so happy. But also, we'll see. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Ranked match. Boom. 
you get yourself an extended episode because we're playing well normally i'd separate it into a brand new episode but now nah, we're gonna let this one run we're having a good episode here I'm not gonna lie, I've had a crack tooth for quite a while now, yeah, and my only concern is getting on that plane and my tooth playing up again. I had really bad toothache when I flew out to Rome in August. I say it's been a year, no. Oh my god, it actually, it has. <gasps> no. Okay, this is um, uh, interesting. All right, I'm ready and up. Oh, oh my god, there's colic. Oh my god, Lucifer as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Can this be another win for me? <laughs> to be fair though, he's going to more than likely save his shield and sword. But I already have shield and sword in hand, so I benefit off this play. So, um, I'm debating whether or not to go into Miller. Nah, okay. We know he's going to have it, so I can pop it. But I don't know what his traps and stuff are. Wait. There's no way. Did he go out of it straight away again? Oh, someone else brought it out. Ah, look at him. He's trying to get that blaze off. You ain't getting that on me. I love the fact it's Lucifer, though. Okay, honey. What have we got in store, then? You, have you noticed they got rid of the feature? You used to be able to go for the left. Go for the left or whatever. You used to get like little dialogue boxes. Wow, no one actually went for the bonus card. Wow. Okay. I might be able to secure. It depends because obviously I don't want to go for Colloc. Because the only thing with him is he knows what I'm running now. And that does make it a little bit troublesome. Um, I have to drop a card, so I'm going to go Wall of Disruption. I could go into... <sighs> it depends if they summon, and I don't want to have to use Shield and Sword or Enemy Controller at this point. I'm going to allow the bonus card to be played to someone else. Um... <sighs> yeah, ready up. Yeah, I always avoid the person with the bonus card though, so if Lucifer does get it, it'd be kind of poetic if he did get, um, if he did get, um, Ring of Destruction. Okay, immobilize. Out comes your ace, the Power Ranger. Okay. It'd be so good if I can reach Platinum before I go to uh, Iceland as well. That'd be sick. Skill transfer for the Immobilize, which will secure you. So you're not going to go for me because you're playing the defensive. So my attentions are uh, played into two separate... Okay. Oh my god, they all... <laughs> There's so many traps. This is concerning because... Oh... Ah, the shield and sword could be proved to be beneficial if I wanted. Oh, I could. Okay, life absorbing machine. The more life points Lucifer gets, the better. But also at the same time, we're just trying to figure out who I go for because. I'm going to wait for the life points to drop low enough and then pop. But the only problem is I don't have enough cards to pop. Oh my god. I just realised something. I need to step my... Oh my god, I need to play. I need to play. I need to play. Yo, we need something. Uh, okay, Firewall Guardian. That's fine. I can get three on the field. I don't get to pop, though, if I don't have four. So... I'm Okay, uh, well, that's coming for me, so I'm going to play in defense mode, and then I'm going to... I'm going to play you into attack. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in a difficult position here, because I have to I have to get some form of playoff here. 
Because <clears throat> if not, I'm going to be decimated. If, if it's going to basically clap, what? First place is 200, isn't it? Last place. Okay. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Depends. Are you going to place Blaze upon the Guardian? Okay. That reduces him. I feel like... I, I may, I'm going to have to go Lucifer. I am. Or I go straight off the bat and hunt. The only thing with Colic, I know he has Shield and Sword. So that's something I don't want to be anticipating or really going up against. Because if I go Sword and Shield on him, he's probably going to have it to activate upon me. Um, Red Eyes Burn. Okay. Blaze. And Immobilize. There's one thing that's concerning me. I don't know whether to Shield and Sword that next turn. Is that 200, isn't it? Yeah. Then your ability pops off for six. But well, we need to attack now. Oh god, bless me. Give me firewall dragon. Give me give me a link arrow. Something. Oh, you're a diamond. <clears throat> I would only just win, but because of the black... Ah, um, okay, no. Uh, I don't know who to go for. Okay. I'm going to have to... I know I'm going to have to bring this... Oh, wait. Hold up. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if this is going to play off. I'm hoping it will, but this is worrying. The problem is, because of his position, he's going to pop most. So I have to pop this one. We wait. We wait and see. Okay. I was going to obviously go V Tiger Jet with enemy controller, but I couldn't take no chances. And also, I don't even know if my attack's even going to play through, if I'm being honest. I could have went Shield and Sword, obviously, on the other monster. Secret Barrel. Oh, my God. Yo, come up. Oh, wow. You know what? Well played. I only lose 500. 2,000 damage. Okay, that puts me in second place. The only problem is, now we all take 200 burn damage. Yeah, okay, I take second place. That's good, that's good. Oh, we're good. Thank God for that. That secret barrel was decent, though. Fair play, man. Credit where it's due. The kind of good thing is, if he hadn't activated Secret Barrel, we would have only drew in second place anyway. So there was no way of us preventing second place position. But to be honest, I'm happy with that turnout. We've actually smashed it on that episode. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure bringing this to you all. And hopefully, by the end of this week, we should be in Platinum. So take care of yourselves. Have a great evening, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.